love cleaning the rectory. No, really, I do. The books and, and the papers and all the dark hardwood. I like the way you fold your socks. I mean, not that I'm going into your dresser or anything. It's just when I have something and it needs to be put away. It's nice you take care of things. It reminds me of my parents' house. They're logicians. In Michigan. U of M. Or maybe they're retired, I don't know. It's weird, right? You know, it's if X and Y then P, but then if X but not Y then Q. I don't know, it always just felt like a lie. This than that. You know, I had my own hypothesis about the world, which was essentially whatever the fuck's going to happen will happen, and we probably won't know why. Then I got pregnant with Abby while I was in high school, and that was pretty much the last draw for my parents. Imagine, you spend all your time thinking up all these complicated rules about what's going to happen under exactly which circumstances, and then your own daughter just... I mean, she turns out not exactly how you expected. They wanted me to go live with my thousand-year-old grandmother and finish up high school, but I just left. I was looking for something big and expansive, and I ended up just with this little scrap of a life. This nothing thing. You could vacuum it up with a dust buster and it would just be gone. I am. It's nothing at all. I have nothing for her. I mean, really, I have nothing. I have no stuff, no money, and no ideas, no plans. She hears my boyfriend call me names that he really shouldn't call me when we fight. But sometimes, um, lately, since I've been cleaning the rectory, I've been thinking a little bit about God, which is something I've never done. I mean, I've really, I've never. And then your homily, and you spoke so beautifully about, you know, humility. And I was thinking, maybe, maybe that's the state of not having anything and feeling so used up maybe that's the state that god wants me and you know not having all these ideas about myself and being a rebel but you know kind of ready to listen do you think that's true when all your stuff was gone suddenly just like that i i got scared because I felt that maybe you were supposed to be my pathway to God and snatching you up like that, he was telling me that he had thought about it and he decided he didn't want me after all. <laughs>